guys, how are you? My name is Swan Titanium. Welcome back to Real Macroeconomics and Investing. Patreon.com slash Real Macro. Don't forget to come down, like, and subscribe to the video, please. Thank you. All right, so what's going on? Uh, bullish, 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 bullish. Uh, this is equal weighted uh, S&P. And as you can see here, right, they kept closing towards the low. So it looked like it was done, that you had a structure below a structure, and this was going to roll over. Instead, what you got is a bull flag. Okay, and today was a very nice big bullish move up. Look for this one to break out. Okay, you're going to get one more up. Uh, equal weighted, I'm sorry, dividend weighted S&P, the same thing here, all right? Look at that. Ready for one more up. Bullish. VIX, pulling back a little bit. Uh, it's remained above 20. I think it's the fourth longest uh, streak that it's above 20 for whatever that's worth. I don't know what it's worth for, but it's nice to know. It is elevated. Pull back a little bit today. Okay. Uh, but uh, it, it is kind of curving. So that's a little bit uh, giving you a pause uh, for the bull side, but we'll keep an eye on it. Uh, New York Stock Exchange, look for this one to break higher. Dow Jones, back in structure, look for this one to push higher. S&P 500, it's kind of in the middle of nowhere, okay? So, as long as it remains within the structure, it can it can stay in here for a while and keep pushing higher, okay? And now it is breaking the previous high, okay? So, this technically, technically is a breakout, all right? Uh, so, again, as long as it remains above this, everything is bull, bull, bull for the S&P. NASDAQ is not as clear. NASDAQ is a little funky. Uh, and the reason for that is because every time it made a new high, break, 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 break. So, you know, is it going to push a little bit and then break again? I don't know. I don't know. But for right now, I think this is bullish looking. Today it uh, it broke down from this structure here, okay, and it broke down in a very healthy manner. It even broke this trend line. Uh, I thought it was kind of a bullshit move. Started to pop up, and then it looked like it was just gonna you know start to roll over. Instead, it just pushed higher. Fair enough, whatever. It's a rising wedge. The problem is that in a, in a rising wedge, okay, the the buy is to the downside that it's going to correct, but I don't think that's not, that's what's going to happen. The rest of the market doesn't agree with that, and when you look at it from the bigger picture, it wants to push up against this, and then perhaps we'll get a rollover. All right, so maybe we'll get a double top here. A double top of the double top of the double top. <laughs> otherwise, otherwise, if this if this breaks here, if this breaks here, you're going to have a very big move to the upside. Very big move to the upside. Okay, then you then you want to go anything above here. You want to go bullish. Anything above here, you want to buy and hold bullish. Keep that in mind. All right. Small caps are the ones that are really kicking ass. Okay. Broke out all sorts of kind of resistance in here. So that's looking really good. Again, message of the market is bullish right now, right? The only one that's a little funky is transportations. Okay. And this one has a lower high M pattern. Again, you got the VIX rising. You got the top... Uh, M pattern and transportations, uh, you know, again, it's not it's not clear cut yet. It's not clear cut, but a little bit more upside, very possible, and then possibly reverse uh, to the downside. But again, if it breaks out, different story. All right, IPO. This is all these. New uh, issued um, stock IPO <coughs> broke down. 
<clears throat> sorry, broke down. Broke down a little bit, didn't do a good job, right? Remember, what you're trying to do, how good of a job is it doing? Not doing a very good job breaking down, so look for one more up. All right, on this one. The fangs, okay. Look for this one to one more up. Europe, breaking the previous high. Look for that one to push higher. UK, uh, eh, this is iffy. But again, if it, if it pops up against this trend line, you can take it long. Germany, uh, triple topish looking thing. Back in structure. Back into the structure. So as long as it's back in structure, the bias is to the upside. Denmark is pushing up against the resistance area. These are the strongest, uh, strongest uh, indexes in Europe. Okay, world stock market index has just exploded to the upside. It doesn't give a shit. No waves, no nothing. Just one particle move, straight up. And it's got it's got a little bit more room to go to the top. Okay. World stock market index, same thing. Jets. All right. This one looked like it was going to roll over yesterday, and today, and today because you had a big see this see this candle, really big outside day. It's just you know looking like it was going to go up, and then today, boom, straight up. All right, so now it looks like a bull flag. So one more up for this one. Airline, same thing. Okay, skip that one. China. China, look for this one to push higher. Out of here. So break above here. Boom. Take it to the long side. And finally... CQQQ, this is the fangs of China. And we've been saying this one is going to break out, and that's why I put this up here. Look for this one to, to also push to the upside. You can get some really nice, you get about 10% out of that one. So that's a good one. Nifty 50 pushing up against the resistance area. Japan, look for this one to push higher. Okay. Taiwan pulling back a little bit, no big deal. Okay, look for this one to push higher. Cosby, yeah, pausing a little bit, pausing a little bit, a little high base. Saudi, high base. Australia, look for this one to push out. Okay. Um, Brazil, look for that one to push higher. Emerging markets, going to push higher. BRICS, pulled back a little bit. Broke through time. Look for this one to push also. And it's, it's, it's testing a 10-year high. All right, so look for this one to break out. And again, it's a straight shot move, right? It's a straight shot move. Uh, real estate, we've been waiting for this one to push higher. Hasn't done it yet. Perhaps it'll do it now. Uh, financials, bull flag. Pure banking, ETF. Look for that one to go higher. Uh, oil, as long as it remains in this channel, the bias is to the upside. Uh, gold is going back up again. Looking good. There it goes. Look at silver as we speak. As we speak, taking off. So look for this one to go higher. Commodities overall, very bullish looking. Okay, so look for this one to push higher. The same thing, commodities, ETF. Uh, look also for precious metals to push higher. I don't know why this is looking like that. Okay, so look for this one to Eventually, this is going to break out. Okay, this will take off. Base metals just fucking kicking ass all over the place. Steel's kicking ass all over the place. 
Palladium is about to, you know, bounce from here. Copper, kicking ass. Agriculture is a nice one, two, three up. Look for this one to take off. Sugarcane, correcting. Not doing a good job falling apart, so look for more upside. Same thing with corn. Wheat had its correction. Up now. Look for this one to push higher. And soybeans, kicking ass. Forget about nut gas. Bitcoin, also look for Bitcoin to, to take off here. I actually want to take off all this stuff here because it's just noise now. Okay. There it is. So look for this one to push one more up. Litecoin doesn't look as good. Ethereum, eh. Ripple, really deep pullback, really deep. This is why I don't like these things. All right, dollar, new lows, keeps pushing lower, okay? And that's what we, we've been showing for a while, right? That you're gonna see dollar down, stocks up. And that's exactly what's happening, all right? So if you were to look at the NASDAQ, and you do NASDAQ times DXY slash 100, you're going to get the, the actual dollar, um, dollar weighted asset. Now remember, when you devalue a currency, it devalues everything in that, in that, in that economy, right? Real estate, buildings, uh, retail, stocks, bonds, everything gets devalued across the board for everybody, wages, everything. So that's why once in a while when you're, when you're in this kind of predicament where you're kicking ass on the way up and then the dollar is devaluing, you wanna pay attention to how much net gain have you actually made in that index. And this is the way you do it. So you'll see that we haven't quite made new highs with the dollar devaluation, okay? We still got a ways to go. So look for this one to break out eventually because the, the structure, right? It had an opportunity to start breaking down here. Okay, had an opportunity to start breaking down, didn't do it, right? And this is what it looked like, right? So you give it the benefit of the doubt, it starts to pop, starts to come back up. Look for this one finally to start making new highs. Now, if I show you the same thing in the small caps, for example, oops, but DXY slash 100. See, it's a much different picture. Look at that. It's It didn't give a shit that the dollar devalued. It pushed much, much higher from the previous highs see so this is this is a true breakout in small caps now having said that remember that the PE is like I don't know one bazillion or something <laughs> so you know risk on buy everything blah 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 yeah okay whatever it is what it is um, but keep these things in mind that the dollar really does play a role uh, let's skip that one for now uh, dollar against the yen grinding lower. Euro is about to break out. Tried today, didn't do a good job. High basing for now. High base is bullish. Okay. The pound, you had some fuckery move last week, but pump back up. Look for this one eventually to break out. Euro pound, forget about that. Turkish euro, forget it. The ruble is strengthening against the dollar. Uh, dollar getting the shit kicked out of it by Canada. All right, new lows. Australia, I, I don't know how long I've been saying this, I guess a month now. Look for this one really to, to take off. Long-term hold. New Zealand dollar, same thing, okay. US dollar, Mexican peso, getting the shit kicked out of it. And here's another bear flag in the dollar one. Look for this to break lower. 
and the euro index euro index looks very nice for another push higher okay look for that to push higher all right 10 year bull flag if this breaks out that means they're selling the 10 year and then interest rates are rising and what the fed said they're going to focus on buying longer term uh, bonds so they want to keep the long the long rates down so that means anything less than 2030 you expect those interest rates to start to rise since the the fed is not buying as many bonds in that area okay at the same time the higher interest rates are trying to attract um, people to buy the dollar so you know I don't see how that's good for the economy if borrowing becomes more expensive all right let's take a look a little bit at some of the ETFs we said were a nice little buy and that's IBB and there's a breakout right there boom straight up so that worked out nice hotels was the other one okay I'm sorry hotels versus uh, airlines had a nice little uh, bull flag setting up right and we said look for this one to break out and boom sure enough it did break out Royal Caribbean pulling back now if you're if you want to play some catch-up right then if this falls a little bit more you want to take this to the upside right Norwegian eh, it's a little different it's a little bit more funky but look for this to to go back into structure if it does you want to take it to the upside carnival is kind of the same deal all right it's kind of funky looking uh, but if it comes back into structure and starts does something like this okay then you want to take it to the upside Apple had a huge day today up five percent apparently they're going to increase uh, production by 30 percent or something I'm not sure everybody's happy Amazon still hasn't broken out expect this one eventually to break Microsoft kind of pausing there Facebook try to break down then do a good job popping back in look for this one to push higher Netflix it's doing okay look for Google to bounce from here okay one more up Nvidia sideways Tesla <laughs> Tesla <laughs> every time I hear it I laugh all right starting to break down here I don't, I, I don't know let's see how this is going to behave okay Uh, the other one I like recently is PayPal okay with all the you know you, you see the message of the market right everything looks bullish uh, so with that bullishness and this breakout right here in PayPal I think it can catch a nice little move to the upside okay so let's mark this uh, long. all right we'll mark it a little bit I don't want to cheat all right there you go all right so anything that moves up now we're going to be tracking it let's take a look at the airlines Delta look for another push higher American Airlines bullish uh, Southwest was the, was the first to break today this one you can actually take tomorrow already Alaska is breaking out you can take that one already uh, JetBlue uh, skip them spirit look for this one to continue to pop up push higher okay Allegiant skip that one Hawaiian eh. it's not a deep pullback right any break above that which would be about I don't know 1904 and Sky West already broke out 
You can take this one. Ryanair, forget about. EasyJet, forget about. Copa, forget about. China Eastern, eh. Forget about Turkish. All right. Uh, in terms of another stock, just to keep an eye on, that's broken out is Starbucks. Okay. It's going to be a lot of coffee shops that are going to be closing down. That's for sure. <laughs> you can't argue with that. It doesn't matter how much COVID uh, lockdowns last. Doesn't matter. Starbucks is Starbucks, and all the competition is getting wiped out. Small businesses, so they're going to benefit from that shit. So keep that in mind. Occidental Petroleum, pulling back a little bit. Cannabis, look for this one. On a break above here. It's already kind of broken out. Look for this one to push higher. This is American Towers. A um, little, little, little more. Okay, this looks like a limptic. A little bit more down. I think you can you can take this one. All right, you can take this one. Perhaps a little lower. Boeing. Uh, a little funky. What I like is is to buy Boeing versus and short Air. And Air is Airbus. Here's why. See it? Right. So every time it's come down here, it popped, popped, popped. Look where we are. So look for a pop here. Where Boeing will go higher and Airbus will underperform. All right. So that's about it. That's about it. The market internals today didn't look all that good. Uh, they actually kind of sucked. Okay. Utilities, energy, materials were leading. Right, it's a little funky. Just confirm. Yeah. Consumer stables communication, discretionary, lagging, technology was in the middle. Again, this indicates to us that it's a broader market that is pushing prices higher. Uh, five day look back, utilities, uh, consumer discretionary, energy and information technology, laggards, consumer staples, real estate, healthcare. So it's the broader market that's pushing everything higher. You can see that with the small caps, right? Take a look at the S&P earnings yield and look at that, right? Oof. Uh, I think 2.68 was the lowest we've seen it. So it's really, really getting expensive uh, for stocks. And then, the, you know, the argument is, well, no forward-looking basis. Yeah, forward-looking is estimates. Forget about estimates. Estimates you can take and shove them up your ass. I don't care about estimates. I care about it right now. Uh, take a look at airlines. Way the fuck below where it's supposed to be. All right, about 2.3 million is what the average is, and we're still at that 7.5, 700,000. Way, way, way below where we're supposed to be. Uh, a lot of the analysis that I see for a full recovery in the airlines, we're talking about another, another two, three years from now, uh, 2024. Okay, I think it'll be a little bit before that. Uh, I'll think it also will expand after Q2. There'll be some expansion. But to get back to normal, it's going to be a long, long time. Uh, take a look at the uh, Los Angeles, Long Beach ports, uh, imports and exports. Well, loaded in was quite high, right? And then loaded out, falling. Okay, look at that. It's a big fucking difference. It's a big difference. And it's been growing for a very long time. It's not like this is something new, right? But at least it will kind of go in the same direction. Now we're going down, and this one, this one is going up. So don't look for the trade balance to, to, to change anytime soon. All right. Uh, what else? Industrial production. Look how weak it is. It's very weak. Very weak. Okay. Uh, capacity utilization, they're like, yes, it's up 0.4. Yeah, it's crap. It's very, very, very weak. Uh, so, 
Empire State Manufacturing, rolling over. All right. Um, positivity rate is still extremely high. Uh, I think there was 2,700 deaths today, 112,000 hospitalizations. Uh, world stock market cap is $100 trillion. All right. The CARES Act for the people, quote unquote. My ass. And yeah, look at the airlines. All right. Here's where we're supposed to be. Here's where we are. Big, big, big fucking difference. 60% down. All right. And that's about it. That's about it, guys. All right. I'll talk to you guys probably tomorrow. Uh, and, and don't forget this one, right? Asset classes, um, the amount of money that's been pumped into the uh, net inflows into the market is just phenomenal, phenomenal, okay? Month over month, it's up, what, $400 billion, $455 billion, $5 trillion. I don't know. It's a big deal. All right, guys. I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Take care. Bye-bye.